Welcome back. Colors. Julia opens the metal box. I see a row of little squares. Green, blue, red, black, yellow, purple, orange. The colors seem to glow. She pulls out a brush with a thin tuft of a tail on it, at its end. She dips the brush in water and wets the paper, then taps at the red square. When the brush meets the damp paper, pink petals of color unfurl like morning flowers. I can't take my eyes off that magical brush. For a moment, I'm not thinking about Ruby and Mac and the claw stick and Stella. Almost. Julia touches red again, then blue, and there suddenly is the purple of a ripe grape. She touches the blue, and her paper turns to summer sky. Blue, black and white, and now I see that she is painting a picture of Ruby. I can make out her floppy ears, her thick legs. Julia stops painting. She takes a few steps back, hands on her hips, gazing at her work. She scowls. It's not right, she says. She glances over her shoulder at me. I try to look encouraging. Julia starts to crumple up the paper, then reconsiders. Instead, she slides it into my cage at the spot where my glass is broken. Here you go, she says. A Julia original. That'll be worth millions someday. Gingerly, I pick up the paper. I do not eat a single bite of it. Oh, hey, I almost forgot. Julia runs to her backpack. She pulls out three plastic jars, one yellow, one blue, one red. She opens the jars, and an odd, not food-smelling smell hits my nose. Julia pushes the jars, one by one, through the opening. Then she slides some paper through. These are called finger paints, she says. My aunt gave them to me. But really, I'm too old for finger painting. I stick a finger in the red jar. The paint is thick as mud. It's cool and smooth, like, like bananas underfoot. I pop my finger into my mouth. It's not exactly ripe mango, but it's not bad. Julia laughs. You don't eat it. You paint with it. She grabs a piece of paper and presses her finger on it. See? Like this. I place my finger on a piece of paper. I lift it, and a red mark is there. I get a bigger glob from the pot and slap my hand down on the page. When I pull my hand off the paper, its red twin stays behind. This isn't like the ghostly handprints of my glass, the ones my visitors leave behind. This handprint can't so easily be wiped away. That was a short one.